Okay, first up we have Nick. So Nick is talking about 35 off and beyond. The video he sent me was 35 off. Things get complicated from here on in. You've got to start doing some pretty difficult things correctly. Luckily for Nick, there really is one quite huge error. And once that's fixed, I don't see any reason Nick can't run 11. So what's happening with Nick is the only way he's beginning and finishing his edge change is by standing up and releasing tension on the line. Once you're talking about 38 off and beyond, you need to do your edge change without losing any tension on the line. The dip or the reduction in tension on the rope doesn't happen until after you've finished your edge change, engaged that inside edge and started aggressively arcing up on the side of the boat. Through the edge change itself, because the edge change happens quite early on the short lines, you don't want to have lost any load on the line because you're still at the bottom of that swing arc. So what's happening with Nick is he's keeping his legs stiff, he's standing his body up relative to the water, he's therefore reducing load on the line, which is then causing his edge change. So when you're on 38 off and beyond, the height of the handle relative to the water should remain exactly the same the whole way through the pass, okay? Like the trajectory of that handle should just be swinging on one axis, which is parallel with the top of the water. What's happening here through the edge change is as Nick stands up, the handle is rising up. So not only is it causing a reduction in load, it's actually changing the trajectory of the handle itself, bringing it up, which then means it has to go back down at some point, which is causing him to dip in at the buoy. But that's more of a side effect. For Nick to fix this edge change, what I need him to do is to get to the second wake in a loaded position, exactly like he is, which is quite a decent position, and stay there. Do not move anything. Keep the handle close, keep your elbows pinned, stay leaning away from the boat as much as you can on that second wake, which is gonna feel crazy because it's 38 off and I know that it's about time to give up that load and start your edge change. So, Nick, when you are in that position and you're completely loaded, you've given nothing to the boat and you're on that second wake, the only thing I want you to do is to just loosen the tension on your legs. The moment you do that, the ski will suck up into you and roll underneath your body and onto that inside edge. And if you've done a good job of making sure that the only thing that gave up any tension at all was your legs, your upper body will stay connected to the handle and you'll actually still maintain a lot of load all the way through that edge change. I'll flash some photos up of what I'm talking about. As far as things required to run 11 goes, it's actually not a very difficult thing to learn. I do believe that once we get you doing this, Nick, you'll be running 11s. Honestly, as far as running 11s go, you're doing the hard stuff correctly. So good luck. If we get your edge change looking more like this or this, I think you're gonna run 11. Pretty sure I said 11 a few times. I mean 38 off. Next up is Jake. Jake, you're skiing pretty good, mate. It looks like you're pretty fresh to the course, so good effort. You're going nice and hard. Those bounces that you're getting into the buoy, that's just from extending your legs. Just try and keep your knees a little bit more bent, keep your legs nice and strong, and you won't get those bounces into the buoy. And then as far as your path through the course, you're stopping most of your load into the first wake. You're cutting plenty hard enough. I don't necessarily need you cutting harder, but I do need you cutting longer. If you can just stay leaning away from the boat through both wakes, which I know is a bit difficult because the wakes are kind of big, but if you can just lean a little more through the wakes, yeah, you might bounce more, but you'll get a lot more cross course direction. And then when you get off that second wake, you'll be heading to the bank a little more and a little less directly at the buoy. And that will allow your turn to be much bigger and longer it's quite difficult to do sharp little turns. So the more of it you can get done before you get there, the better. And the best trick to doing that on 15 off is just to continue cutting through those wakes and send yourself out to the bank early before you worry about starting to come back in. At the moment, you're just sort of heading straight for the buoy a little bit too much, but pretty good effort, mate. I think you'll improve reasonably quickly here. 